Hey y'all, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we're gonna be today? Y'all, today we got some green up more and some crawfish and some eggs and some green beans. And starring Nene's finger licking seafood butter sauce. Yes, we got that. Oh, put that down. My griddle's on though. How you guys doing? How you doing? How you doing? I just wanted to share my meal with y'all today. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, Mother's Day. This is the week after their Mother's Day. Yeah, y'all. Hmm. Hope everybody had a good week. Are you after being a blessing to somebody? Are you staying positive? Just remember, no matter what you're going through, that too shall pass. And remember him. Whoever you pray to as your higher power, they're not going to give you more than you can bear. They're just shaping you for something better. Remember that. Remember that. But y'all, I do got a story time. I do have a story time. I was at work, y'all. And uh, one of my coworkers, she was on the phone. And normally I'm on my own business. And uh, she was on the phone, but I noticed that she was, uh, she's a little older woman. I noticed that she was trying to, you know, the two-step verification. She was doing that. And uh, I noticed um, she was struggling. And she was a little nervous. And so at first I was going to walk out, but then something said no. I see what's going on. So I said, in the show, I said, what was going on? She hit the person on speaker. And I heard the uh, accent, and they said, well, do it again, and then I'll call you back. And so I was asking her what was going on. She said, Amazon contacted her and said somebody tried to um, make some purchases. And I thought, Amazon contacted you? Wait a minute. Amazon not gonna contact you. Not like that. They might send you an email or a text, but they're not gonna, not an actual person gonna call and then call you back. What, what? Who does that? Amazon got too many customers. If they detect something fraud, fraudulent, they just gonna stop it. That's it. <clears throat> they ain't got time to be calling you. So. She got back on, they called, immediately called right back. And, um, <clears throat> she, uh, was talking to him. And she was trying to put this code in and she had downloaded this app. And I'm just like, I cannot walk away and let this woman do this. I cannot. So, at some point, <clears throat> I took the phone and I said, um, my mother is, uh, having problems. This is her daughter. What's going on? What did she do? So I guess he caught on to that. I realized that he was a scammer. And so I'm asking him, what is it that you want her to do? He got agitated because he almost had the money. She had downloaded some app, I think Zale or something like that. It actually had um, started the transfer process. It was pending. Oh, I know he was pissed, honey. I know he was pissed. So, you know, I'm just playing. I'm I'm just acting like I'm her daughter. Now, what do you want her to do again? Da, 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 da. I said, what did she do that was so bad? What, what did she do? Then he turned around. He said, she's stupid. She what? So I'm repeating everything he says so she can hear it. She's stupid. What did she do? Oh, honey. He just knew he came across him a good lick. So, I told her she need to call her bank and let them know what's going on. She need to call the uh, fraud department. But he called it stupid. And something else. This is one of the Indian scammers. You know, they have a lot of shops in India and in Africa where they uh, like to call people from 
people in the U.S. and people in the uh, U.K. and tell them all kinds of stuff. Now I see that kind of stuff on YouTube. Well, they, they be getting exposed and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, honey, he almost had his money. But luckily, she was able to call a bank. She was able to um, cancel all her credit cards and reverse that thousand dollars that she had uh, she had pending to send. Like man, I tell you what, these scammers are cutthroat. When he was mad, baby, when uh, I got up on that phone, he sure was. He was mad. When I tell you he was mad, he was mad. I mean, he almost had that thousand on. But no ma'am. No ma'am. You will not be conning anybody in my presence. Not if I can help it. You know, my coworker, she is um, a beautiful soul. And uh, she's gonna be, especially in times of this pandemic, she's gonna be taking advantage of people. That should not. Well, honey, she almost got black. But I say that to say this. Everything happens for a reason. And God puts you in a situation. Um, for a reason. Oh, y'all look at that. Oh, okay. A little crab. The crab was getting gut, baby. Yep, the crab was getting gut. But yeah, um, <clears throat> and he just knew he had, he had caught him a lick. And he was going to get it. If I would have, if I would have came five minutes later, or if I would just walked out, he would have got that money. But you never know when you'll be a blessing to somebody. You never know. No, no, no. See, God puts you in those situations for a reason. I don't know if he's testing you or what, but my whole thing is I want to do the right thing. I don't want to be perfect, but I want to do the right thing. But what he wasn't getting ready to get is, is uh, my co-worker's hard on money. Not while people at work. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. No, sir. Not today. So, if anybody ever call you talking about uh, there's fraud on your credit card, just know this. You might be contacted by text message or email or automated call. Telling you to call the fraud department. Once you call the fraud department, they're going to have you verify your information. So, and then too, if you if you call a number, listen to the introduction. To see uh, if it's actual um, actual company. There's a lot of scamming going on, y'all. A lot of scamming. And we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. If you see something going wrong, see something, say something. Don't let people get taken advantage of. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yeah, they really should tell you, don't look in there. <laughs> don't look in there. I love muscles. 
But mine, what I do is I, I boil the crap out of them so they get real tender. Really tender. But yeah. So she was able to close all her accounts and got, you know. I'm glad there was one time I didn't mind my own business. All right, y'all. The video is up longer than 10 minutes. Don't forget to be blessed. Stay blessed and be blessing somebody else. And remember, we still in the season, a Rona season. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and what? Wash your ass. Till next time, y'all. Peace. I didn't do nothing.